Wait, Cardi, Cardi, yeah, Cardi, Cardi B. All right, before I start this, let me let me give y'all what's happening here. She's defending Tyler because of Joe Biden. Let's be honest. Let's be fucking honest. For some reason, Cardi B is on a hate Joe Biden train, and anything Joe Biden has to say that goes viral, she comes around and responds to it and says the opposite. All just to hate on Joe. Now, I don't know if Cardi B knows Tyler or has any experience with Tyler, but I'm pretty sure she thinks she's a nice woman. And so she decided to defend her. Let's hear what she has to say. Won that fucking VMA award. If she would have known that that fucking VMA award would have brought so much hate, so much criticism, I bet she just, I, I bet for a fact she'd be crying tonight. Like, y'all. Yo, the internet is insufferable. The way that you guys will fucking take a picture, take a moment, and make it something that is not, and then just crush somebody. And, like, y'all criticize so much that y'all not even noticing, like, you're bullying this girl. And if you really fucking think about it, you don't really have a motherfucking reason to. Like, you really, really don't have a reason to. But you making this a reason because you already don't fucking like her for whatever reason. Like something about her that y'all just probably don't like, and I don't, I don't know what it is, but y'all are doing too much, and it's disgusting. First and first, I seen a video of her asking fucking Lil Nas X. I saw a video of of her asking Lil Nas X to hold her fucking award. And let me tell y'all something. I have asked other artists to hold my awards for me, myself, because them bitches is the fucking size of a motherfucking fat baby, bitch. Like, that, like those awards be so heavy, and then, like, when you have heels on and you put pressure on top of yourself, it really feels like your leg starts to wobble. Like, no lie, those awards are very fucking heavy. Then you got to worry about motherfucking doing a speech and looking good while you fucking carrying a motherfucking 10-pound fucking baby on your motherfucking uh hands so i i just don't think that you guys understand how fucking heavy those fucking awards are and also i met tyler in person i'm five three i'm five three so i'm already like short she's shorter than me and no lie she she's shaped really beautifully but she's very, very skinny, like skinny, like Mariah type of skinny. Like she, she had to, she has to weigh like 109 pounds. So imagine you 109 pounds and you fucking got to carry a 10 fucking, uh, a, a, a 10 pound fucking award with heels. She literally asked Lil Nas X, but y'all, y'all trying to make this into like, oh, how rude is she to ask another female artist to hold her a war? Like, she's the help. And I love um, Haley, but she didn't even ask Haley to hold, hold her a war. She asked Lil Nas X, a man, to hold it. The thing about her, too, that y'all think that she's so, that she acts really uppity. Let me tell you something. A lot of Caribbean people and a lot of African people, like, especially girls, like, all right, so I have an older sister, right? Her name is Nikauli. She's also an artist. Her name is her name is Nikauli. She go by Nikki Nikki. And my sister has always been overly confident. And she always been up overly confident, over jumpy, over smiley. Like she's the type, she always been the type of person that is like, if there's a black party, if there's like a black party in the in the street. She's like the one that's going to get in the middle of the street and dance. She's very happy. She's very, she's not shy at all. She's very different from me. She's very different from me. She's very different from Hennessy. She's my father's daughter. And she's from the Dominican Republic. A lot of people from different countries, they are very prideful. They're very happy. They're very jumpy. And I feel like us Americans, like we just don't be like, we, we're not really like that. So it's like when somebody's always like so happy, so jumpy, so energetic, and so overly confident, we be like, what the fuck is wrong with them? And my sister, she's so overly confident. She's always the, she's always the uh, life of the party. And also she's very pretty and she has an amazing body. So she always tries to prove to people like she's not easy, like, like she's she likes to prove to people like, hey, no, I'm not like these other girls. 
I don't get down like that. I'm not a hoe. So sometimes when like y'all see Tyler like trying to prove like, oh no, I'm not dancing next to Usher, blah, blah, blah. I don't think that she's trying to like act like she's better than people. I honestly feel like sometimes people just, when somebody's so overly confident, they have to also overly prove that they're not easy bitches because sometimes people really think that about you. And I feel like you guys are being really harsh on this girl. She's fucking 22 years old. Also, do you know how hard it is to be a fucking a person from a different country trying to adjust to America? So she's a new artist, 22 years old, trying to adjust to fucking America. And I don't know where you guys are fucking angry and fucking making think pieces about a bitch that barely speaks. All right. All right. All right. All right. I've heard enough. I think we've all heard enough. Well, that's that's where the clip ended. Uh, oh God, <laughs> oh God, that's where the clip. I didn't just start Cardi. Look, I love Cardi B. I I love her. I love her personality. I love the way she looks. She's a very beautiful woman. I cannot get over the fact that I think this nigga is smelling her armpit right now. And then you got this nigga in the background looking down at him like, "What the fuck are you doing?" Does nobody else see this shit? <laughs> nobody else see this shit. They're all happy and smiling, eating fries with ketchup, and you got these two black niggas in the back <laughs> looking. What the fuck? What the hell is going on here? Okay. All right, but enough is enough. Look, AK, she said some right things, and she said some... Look, okay, here's my thing. I think we shouldn't be dividing us. Like, we're dividing... Look, if you're black, you're black. Whether you're from Africa, whether you're from the Caribbeans, whether you're from fucking France, Italy, I don't give a fuck where you from. If you're black, you're fucking black, bro woman girl you know at the end of the day i don't know i don't understand why we're, we're making this a, a divide type of argument right now like at the end of the day i say it like this if i can see the brownness in your skin you can say nigga like that's just how it goes if i can't see it don't say it if i can't see it don't fucking say it don't ever say that word if i cannot see the brownness in your skin because then i might have a problem but if i can see it if I can see it, you got, you know, a uh, uh, internal tan going on, then you can say nigga. But at the end of the day, my thing too is we got to stop acting like these celebrities aren't, don't get coddled. Like these celebrities get coddled all the time. Like, oh, why are y'all messing with her? I mean... My thing is, it wasn't even that big of a moment to me. I'm, I'm, I don't know why the internet took this and ran with it like they did. Like, I could give two fucks about whether she asked Haley or fucking Lil Nas X to hold her damn award because it was too heavy. And then the way it came off, you know how Cardi B was saying, oh, the award is 10 pounds. Y'all just wouldn't know. Of course we wouldn't know. <laughs> we're fucking peasants. <laughs> of course we wouldn't know. We're not, we're not mainstream music artists of course the regular joe schmo would not know how much that award weighs of course we wouldn't know but my thing is i don't get why everybody's chastising the tyler girl about this i really don't care <laughs> to be honest i really don't give two fucks about it because at the end of the day like i said it was a non-issue to me i i really didn't see it as as anything too crazy but yeah you know as ak is saying joe was dying to hate on tyler and i get i think that is what kind of sparked the fire and you know how these joe vengers are they're not they're not gonna let anybody like come for joe <laughs> and and not rebut them or or try to hash it out with them or be like no he's right because of this or this is how he feels and i don't you know, at the end of the day like i said she's just a pretty girl we're pretty cardi b a pretty woman with pretty privilege. I would not be mad if Cardi B was on the stage holding that heavy ass award and tried to pass it off the offset so she could fucking talk. It would make sense. Like I, I'm not, you know, at the end of the day, be a gentleman. The woman's right there. Hold the award for. Her. Let's just move on from this shit. Calling her uppity, saying she acted a certain way. Like this is what Joe was talking about. I found the clip. I found the fucking clip of what Joe was talking about. When he said the Usher thing. This is the clip. It's, it's, it's starting to go viral now. So I, I think this is Tyler at the Usher concert. You hear water in the background. 
I hope I don't get clapped for this. Let me make sure I keep talking. But this is Tyler, and they're dancing, they're dancing together. And you know how Usher is. And Tyler, like, oh, hold up, my nigga. But you know, they still, they still, you know, they still grooving. I might get clapped for this. <laughs> I might. <laughs> this is, what? You know, they're grooving. I'm not mad at it. And that's what I'm saying. Joe got mad at that. Bro, that wasn't a bad moment. It was better than what fucking Kiki Palmer was doing. <laughs> Look, I just seen Usher try to hit on a lot of them women that come to his concerts. And a lot of them women that he tried to hit on, if they got niggas, they keep it cordial. He tried to hit on Aja Wilson, the, the WNBA star. She would ban out of bio. <laughs> Kept... Usher kept it cordial, or at least she made him keep it cordial. Like, hey, nigga, I got a nigga. He will beat your ass. Calm down. <laughs> and then I saw somebody else that was famous in there and was like, no, nah, my nigga, I'm with my nigga. Like, calm down. Or or their nigga wasn't even present, and they were just calm. I, you know, maybe Tyler got a nigga. I'm like, all right, Usher, chill. But let's let's dance it out. You Usher, we going we gonna to get a little groove on. I didn't see nothing wrong with that, but apparently Joe Budden thought, it, it was enough to fucking rant about for <laughs> God damn. How long did he rant about that shit for five minutes? I didn't see nothing wrong with it. But that's maybe that's just me. Maybe I maybe I'm just like not seeing the bigger picture. <laughs> or maybe it's just not no bigger picture to begin with. Maybe she's keeping it respectful. Damn, I'm defending Tyler. <laughs> I didn't know I'd be able to defend look, me and Cardi. <laughs> but I Forget Tyler and, and what you you fucking Africans. Y'all need to calm down. At the end of the day, some of y'all do act entitled. I'm not saying Tyler was acting entitled in that moment, but some of you Africans do act entitled. And you know, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I really don't know what it is. But at the end of the day, I don't think we should be looking down on each other, especially when we got the same fucking skin. We got pulled over. Cop gonna look at us. They gonna look at us the same fucking way, my nigga. It, it ain't gonna be no difference. Oh, just cause you African, you fucking look like Dumbahu. I don't know. <laughs> they gonna treat you different? No. They gonna treat you the exact same way they gonna treat me. So at the end of the day, all this divide and shit, I just, I'm not with. All this divisive shit, I, I don't understand it. That's all I'm saying, okay? Look, that's it. I don't get the divisiveness. Like, why are we, why are we making this, uh, uh, African versus black? We're all, bro, just because <laughs> my ancestors were put on boats and sent over here <laughs> doesn't mean, and, and y'all, and, and y'all just got to chill where y'all at, doesn't make us any fucking different. 